a true Kilkenny man and complete horseman, Tommy Brennan was born at Dunhamagin in 1940. From early as he could remember, he rode ponies, and with one called Lollipop, he won the 148 championship at the RDS in 1955. Some years later, he was back in our main arena to win the Senior Horse Championship on Jim and Joan Finnegan's Cherry Blossom. This Ballsbridge win brought Tommy to the attention of Dublin show jumping owner Omar Van Landingham. Omar appointed the 20 year old rising star as trainer and rider at his Skidoo stud near Swords, County Dublin. Van Landingham's good team of horses brought Tommy into the international circuit. He was walking the course with him at Arkin in 1962 are his lifelong friends Leslie Fitzpatrick and Brian McNichol. He was on new civilian teams like this one that included Diana Conley Carew, Brian McNichol, Jenny Freeman Jackson and Leslie Fitzpatrick. Tommy traveled to shows all over Europe and during his career won over 70 international classes. At Amsterdam he won a daft car. Here he takes a lap of honor along with Grand Prix winner that year, Seamus Hayes. There were great welcomes home for the teams of that time. Having flown in on Omer van Landingham's private plane, Brian McNichol, Leslie Fitzpatrick and Tommy are here greeted by Colonel Jack Lewis and Bernard Fitzpatrick of the Show Jumping Association. On horses like Kill Rush and Donegal, Tommy continued his winning way on home ground. On Donegal, he is seen here being awarded with the Boylan Trophy for one of his RDS wins. During the course of his 12-year senior career, he proudly recalled scoring nine championship firsts at Balls Bridge. He also made it onto the Aga Khan teams of the 60s and 70s. On this side, he joins Diana Conley Carew, Iris Kellett, and Captain Ned Campion. Complete horseman that he was, Tommy also excelled in dressage and eventing. His cross-country motto was Ride On, and here he does just that at Badminton with Kilbrack. Good performances at Punchestown and Badminton brought him onto the Irish side that won the 1966 World Championship at Burley, along with Eddie Boylan, Virginia Petersham, and Penny Morton. He always noted this as a highlight of his career. Tommy's lifetime ambition was to win Olympic gold in either show jumping or eventing. The dream of a medal at Mexico in 1968 was dashed when he took a crashing fall at the RDS. His Olympic hopes grew again when he took up the ride on Frank Kernan's magnificent grey ambassador. As he prepared for the Munich Games, he had good performances at places like Aachen in Germany, at Balmoral, and with the Irish team for the 1970 Aga Khan Trophy. On that side, he joined Captain Ned Campion, Eddie Macken, and Captain Larry Kiley. Both he and Eddie Macken had put their names forward for the Munich Olympic squad, but the Irish Federation declared them professionals and they were not allowed travel. Putting a further sting in the tail of that story, Ambassador was sold to Italy and went on to win Olympic gold for Graziano Mancinelli. Ambassador was just one of the many great international Irish bred horses that Tommy put through his capable hands during this period. Kilkenny, that had brought him World Team Gold, was one of them. He named him the favorite horse 
he had ever ridden in both show jumping and eventing. Kilkenny was sold to the USA and won two Olympic team medals for Jimmy Wofford. Eddie Mackin notes that Tommy was also involved in the buying and selling of his two great rides, Pele and Boomerang. In partnership with Torchy Miller of Canada and Enrico Padroni of Italy, Tommy was one of Ireland's greatest Irish sport horse agents, exporting to North America and continental Europe. He jumped the good mare Marcella to win at the RDS. They also came second in the Irish Championships at Strokestown. That mare went on to win the 1974 European Junior Championship for James Kernan. She later bred James's Olympic horse and Aga Khan winning stallion, Touchdown. Retired from competition in the early 70s, Tommy concentrated his energies and many talents on course building and on farming the home place in Dunhamagan. For his tasteful managing of Dunhamagan, he won an IFA award. One of his crowning achievements was his creation of the artistically brilliant and technically perfect course at Punchestown for the 1991 European Championships. Into that course he poured all of his artistic flair, his deep memory of Ireland's history, legend and literature to create something that was both uniquely Irish and internationally powerful. It included fences depicting sites from archaeology like Newgrange and Cranogues. It also drew inspiration from literature like the Book of Kells and Charles Kickham's Knock Nagao. His work earned international acclaim, including that of Equestrian Federation President Princess Anne and her daughter Zara, who has gone on to be a world champion and Olympic medalist. Tommy was also a respected chef to keep for both junior and senior teams. Here he is with our 1988 junior squad that included Louise Daly, Stuart Clark, Tom Maloney and Philip Gall. On this senior side at Linz in Austria, he was chef for Captain Jerry Flynn, Connor Swale, Ryan Crumbly and Shane Breen. He was also chef to keep for our senior eventing team at Burley in 1989. Here he introduces Joe McGowan, Melanie Duff and Polly Hulhan to Princess Di after they won the bronze medal. He showed winning young horses like this one that took the championship of the 1981 Royal Meath Show in Trim. He also helped many others to win both in hand and under saddle. Enrico Padroni referred to Tommy as the best judge of a horse that he had ever known. He officiated at shows and championships here at home and also abroad in Canada, England and Italy. He hunted with gusto and would always arrive with a good-looking horse. It was said of him that after he had passed out the field, the master and the hounds, Tommy thought it was time to go home. Glass in hand, he would make up his own version of Stan Lynch's poem, He Can Ride With The Best Of Them Yet, to suit every and any social occasion. He waved us a jolly goodbye as Aga Khan Stewart in his beloved RDS Arena in 2013. And like the eagle of Irish equestrianism that he was, Tommy flew from us, this time last year, but will always be remembered as the complete horseman. <laughs>